and good afternoon. This is our midweek vibes, and uh, our show today focuses on dating violence. Our guests with me are on my left is Susan. Susan, if you could please introduce yourself. Good afternoon. My name is Susan Gatia. I'm a counseling psychologist working at Amani Counseling Center. And on my right, I am Charity Wamboy. I serve together with Reverend uh, Maggie here at Mablaka Hill Chapel at Raka. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys, for making the time to come. We are very, very excited. And this topic of dating violence has been in our minds for a bit of time. And one of the things we want to understand and explore together mm -hmm. is the whole issue of dating. Why would something that is nice like mm -hmm. this bring issues? But before we even look at the issues, let us look at the marks of a nice dating situation. And you know, you guys have dated. Susan, you're married. I am married. <laughs> Bobo has dated also. I think you're familiar with the nice things about dating. Let's talk about that, Susan. When you dated uh, our dear pastor, Wero, yes. what are some of the things you enjoyed? <laughs> I enjoyed talking to him like during the day, sometimes during the evening, just having long, long talks without wondering how much money we have spent on, on the phone. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed, uh, uh, you know, taking walks together. Uh -huh. To those, those years, it used to be a boretum. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, working yeah. together uh -huh. in a boretum um, and, and just sitting down, even sometimes being able to share a meal together uh -huh. uh, slowly. Uh -huh. I really remember, I mean, even as I talk about it, I feel nice. So, it was, uh, <laughs> it was really a nice, a nice moment. Right. Yes. And, Bubu, what have you looked forward in a date? For me, it is just companionship uh -huh. and genuine love. Wow. That is the only thing I desire in a dating relationship. In a dating relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and, and you know, they say that uh, this is a season for us to know one another. Yes. To get to, to listen, mm. to hear, mm. to discover yes. both about ourselves and, and, and other people. Mm. And Susan, a little earlier, we talked about the whole issue of acceptance. Mm. Let's talk about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. In a dating situation, mm -hmm. is acceptance a real issue? For me, actually, it is one of the major things mm -hmm. in a characteristics of a good mm -hmm. dating relationship. Mm -hmm. Because when you're dating, you are hoping that at some point, I'm going, I might settle down. Mm -hmm. If things work out well, I mm -hmm. might settle down with this gentleman or this lady. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, that dating relationship need, need to have, I need to feel I am accepted as I am, mm -hmm. that I have strengths, mm -hmm and I have weaknesses, mm -hmm. just like any human being, mm -hmm. and those things are accepted. My, my, my date mm -hmm. accepts me as I am. Mm -hmm. I don't have to act. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, 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 to dress up and to try very hard to please mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. It should be natural, organic, mm -hmm. uh, such that he feels accepted and I feel accepted. Yeah. yeah? And, mm -hmm. and I remember when I was dating uh, Charles, mm -hmm. <laughs> our very bishop, yes. I, I remember I looked forward, I really longed, I even yes. dream, dreamt about it. I, 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 then I dressed, yes. I made my nails, I made my hair. Yes. I, I wanted to look good for him. It yes. felt so good yes. even to prepare yes. uh, to meet with him. Mm -hmm. And I also found myself talking about him. Mm -hmm. to anyone who could listen, yes. especially my friends. <laughs> my friends needed to know about him yes. because it's something I really treasured, dating mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And that is even way before we began courting. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'm hearing us say is that uh, this is such an important period mm -hmm. of discovery, mm -hmm. of observation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah? yes. What are some of the things you've observed in a date, for example, that have uh, filled your heart with joy? I think one of them is the man making the effort to look for you, right. pursuing you mm -hmm. without getting tired. Yeah. Of course, there are moments there you feel you play hard to get Kidogo, yes. uh -huh. and then you feel good when he continues pushing. You yeah. know, it makes you feel good. Wow. That time, even just to for him to even organize a date. Uh -huh. So you, he calls me. He tells me, you know what? Uh -huh. How about you go for a date at uh -huh. this place uh -huh. at this time? Uh -huh. That yes. organization for me is just amazing. Oh, wow. Yes, and I've enjoyed it. <laughs> I think the paint, uh, the picture we are painting here mm. is a, play, a situation of great joy, mm. of, of, of relaxation, exactly, yeah. yes. you are enjoying mm. what you are seeing, what mm. you are hearing, mm -hmm. even what is not being said that I care mm. for you. Yes. That's why yes. I've gone to this date in this and yes. this place yes. and, and we all mm. get together. Mm. Uh, other things that we look for in our date? Um, 
you know, when, when you're dating somebody, it means it's not try and error. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I want to be known uh -huh. and I want to know. Uh -huh. So it's also a time for exploration. Uh -huh. uh, I want to see, uh -huh. we want to have fun time together doing different things. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we want to play uh -huh. even a game together. Uh -huh. We want to try something new together uh -huh. uh, rather than it's just a restaurant date. Uh -huh. So you want us to do, to try different things. If uh -huh. we, both of us enjoy uh, like playing, uh, Playing what? Playing a game. Mm -hmm. uh, golf. Mm -hmm. We can go for mini golf mm -hmm. <laughs> at yeah. the village market. Mm -hmm. So it's a time when we share mm -hmm. not just talking, but an activity together that mm -hmm. we both of us enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are we trying to maximize opportunities for learning each other that time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that mm -hmm. uh, when different situations mm -hmm. present, mm -hmm. we can be able to observe and say, yes. for sure I think I know this guy, I know yes. this, this chick, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. even to add on to that, when you're saying you, you it's, it's not a, you have to ask questions. Mm -hmm. And it's so exciting when mm -hmm. you're getting to know this person, get mm -hmm. to know their background, how mm -hmm. they grew up, mm -hmm. that way you're also getting to have uh, collect information and observe mm. who this person really is. And it's mm -hmm. exciting mm -hmm. because this is the first time you're meeting this person. Uh -huh. So yeah, uh -huh. asking the questions is pretty exciting as yes. well. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is before we make a hard commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need to do all this before or after. Mm. Sometimes we make a hard commitment first. Yes. Then we begin to discover. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are experiential learners. We first go in... <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, discover, then run away. Uh -huh. But I think ideally, uh -huh. we should, uh, uh, for those people who are dating, uh -huh. we are told it is better to, uh, it's better to first discover, uh -huh. explore, uh -huh. first explore and see. Uh -huh. uh, but even before you explore, uh -huh. it starts with me as a person. Uh -huh. Who am I? Where am I coming from? Uh -huh. Where am I going? What am I looking at? What uh -huh. do I want to for me, mm -hmm. with the little knowledge I have, because I cannot completely know mm -hmm. one person. Mm -hmm. uh, but with with the with a dating relationship, I need to go in knowing this is who I am. Mm -hmm. These are my values. Mm -hmm. This is no no for me. Mm -hmm. And so when I set the stage, mm -hmm. then I'm able to observe. No, mm -hmm. this one I can't live with. Mm -hmm. This one is in line with my mm -hmm. values. Yeah. And so it starts with me first, mm -hmm. then the other person exploration, mm -hmm. and see whether then you can be able to. We are going to the headed to the same direction. Mm -hmm. I, I think you need to repeat that and go slowly <laughs> and, and and speak to. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we have viewers yes. uh, and, and talk to our viewers yes. and there could be those girls and boys, men and mm. women, mm. who are looking to date yes. and uh, they need to know mm. the, the, the strength or the importance mm. of being self-aware yes. before we enter into a decent situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Self-awareness does not, uh, it involves getting to know uh, who, am, who am I? Um, where am I, what kind of a family background do I come from? Mm -hmm. uh, what do we believe mm -hmm. to be important in life? Mm -hmm. Who are good people? Mm -hmm. Who are not so good people? Mm -hmm. um, and that's a strong term. Mm -hmm. But being able to see, I think I can be able to, um, these are my strengths, these mm -hmm. are my weaknesses, mm -hmm. um, these are my limits, mm -hmm. uh, these are my threats. Mm -hmm. And so, when you discover who you are, then you know what will work for you mm -hmm. and what will not work for you. Mm -hmm. Rather than, I think it is part of being wise, mm -hmm. uh, knowing that, um, that I want to go in, but I know I'm present in myself. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good word to say, I'm present. Mm -hmm. I'm not going in and I'm blind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm blind to, to, to myself. Mm -hmm. And so when, we, when I promote a sense of awareness in myself, mm -hmm. I promote the same in the other person. Mm -hmm. And I tend to have the wisdom to be able to see things mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. in the other person's life because mm -hmm. I am self-aware. Yeah. I'm a self-aware. Wow, that's a good one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. That I go from a point of strength. Mm -hmm. yes. So when I get into this dating situation, mm -hmm. I am fully aware of yes. who I am, mm -hmm. my values, yes. what, where I'm coming from, and mm -hmm. where I'm going with this yes. uh, situation. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. I mm -hmm. think I, I really like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Charity. Um, you know, when you mentioned about uh, being self-aware, I was just mm -hmm. thinking, um, of course, there are strengths and weaknesses. Yes. So there's one thing we fear, mm -hmm. is fearing, is facing our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And we want to, you're sorting after perfection. Mm -hmm. And that is where the ingenuineness comes. comes from. Because mm -hmm. then during a dating relationship, mm -hmm. 
then you're not able to be, you can't bring out your weaknesses to this person and not feel judged about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Then that way you're just hiding yourself mm -hmm. behind this facade of mm -hmm. perfectionism. Mm -hmm. And I think that has affected so many of the relationships within mm -hmm. uh, my community. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we're coming from a place of weakness already yes. because we've judged ourselves. We've said we are not good enough, perhaps. Yes. yes. So, and then we know already, like what mm -hmm. we just shared, is that uh, we, in a date, we present ourselves the way we are mm -hmm. because we want to be accepted yes. the way we are. So mm -hmm. we are, in a sense, shooting ourselves in the foot. Exactly. Yeah. If we <laughs> <laughs> yes. And in any case, genuine love doesn't come, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when there is ambiguity. Yes. We want yes. a form of uh, clarity, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's, let's talk a little bit about genuine love. Yes. What does genuine love look like? When we say we are looking for genuine love in a date, mm. what are we looking for? Um, uh, I think one thing is openly discussing or even exposing yourself a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, then you know then you are not secure. You're, you're not secure with, you're not insecure with the weaknesses that you have, uh -huh. but you're secure in Christ. Mm -hmm. So I think that is one of the markers of identifying whether you're really genuine mm -hmm. with this person. Mm -hmm. But even when it comes as a whole, mm -hmm. it's about, I think for me, it would be pointing out things about yourself and the other person without, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. um, feeling like you're bashing the person. Mm -hmm. So I think pointing out things mm -hmm. about each other's mm -hmm. maybe personalities mm -hmm. uh, that would be definitely look genuine. Mm -hmm. And then um, now let me speak from my own <laughs> experience mm -hmm. um, in a community or a Christian community at times it's easy to use the Christianese uh -huh. You know, feel, you know, I'm a Christian, uh -huh. and you feel secure. This is a Christian uh -huh. man, uh -huh. but at times it's used as just a facade, uh -huh. and it's easy to use your the word of God or head knowledge uh -huh. to make you look good before uh -huh. a potential uh -huh. boy or girl. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think that is one way. Uh -huh. Yes, right. And I think one of the things I think Susan talked about is time. Mm -hmm. yes. You need mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you can't pretend for. Like forever, yes. sooner than later, yes. the, the truth about us will mm. come out mm. if we spend time together. Mm. That's very nice. I think I love the way uh, you've painted that picture. And, and sometimes, uh, let me talk about girls because I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> the Jamaas may say, no, 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 we yes. don't think that way. So, so, so I think one of the, one of the reasons uh, girls are looking uh, for, 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 for love mm. is because they want to find a person who can be affirming them. Because yes. we like being affirmed. Mm. Mm. We feel good when somebody points mm. out or, or, or you know, identifies a quality in me mm. that I, I can, you know, that I can say, yeah, yeah, that's me. I mm. do, you know, <laughs> things well. And, and during that time uh, when uh, both men and women are complimenting each other, admiring each other, I remember we spent, uh, we were students when we were dating my husband and I, yes. and we spent a, quite a bit of time together. Yes. We'd go to class together, yes. wait for each other, mm -hmm. go to class mm -hmm. and come up together. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to your hall, we go have lunch, then we come down together. We'd spend a lot of time uh, just walking together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes not even what we are saying, mm -hmm is a companionship. Yes. We'd yes. enjoy that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Susan, mm -hmm. you spent uh, quite a bit of time with, with, uh, with Wero yes. before you got married and yes. you did games and stuff like that. Yes. I, you said you even went for mini golf. Yes. Wow, at the village market, the village market that time. <laughs> I, th I think village market needs to return the mini golf. Yes, oh, it's no longer there. <laughs> it's no longer there. Okay. We did publish yes. the place there. Yes. That went. So what are some of the things that you enjoyed together? Um, before I go to that, I, I, I liked your earlier mm -hmm. question on uh, how, what are the marks of, of genuineness. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to say consistency. Mm -hmm. If somebody is just nice to me alone mm -hmm. and we are dating mm -hmm. and he's rough with you, mm -hmm. then it means they are not genuine. Yeah. Yes. If, um, and since we say dating is a time for exploration, mm -hmm. that means I, I want to observe this person, how he's relating with my church members, mm -hmm. the small groups, mm -hmm. even if they don't go to church, I want to, in the social groups, in the community, mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. And so I want to hear him talk about how, how he relates with his mother, mm -hmm. yeah. how he relates with his, uh, with his sisters, mm -hmm. if he has. Mm -hmm. I want to hear how he relates with uh, his workmates, if he's working, or his schoolmates. Mm -hmm. 
if I hear that for me stories that he is rough mm -hmm. or people have been uh, have accused him of being rude mm -hmm. but he's only nice to me mm -hmm. then I need to put a question mark mm -hmm. or he only opens doors for me mm -hmm. <laughs> he plays a gentleman <laughs> yeah <laughs> After you, you know. Yes, after you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but he's, yes, but he's not to other women. Uh -huh. Then he's not being genuine because mm -hmm. he's gonna stop. One of the things I actually I liked my relationship with Weru mm -hmm. is that he he never made me feel special. Mm -hmm. In um oh. in certain, uh -huh. especially in the context of uh, mm -hmm. ministry. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, very careful to uh, take you out. Uh -huh. Take you out. Mm -hmm take me out mm -hmm. in the context of ministry mm -hmm. then he was consistent that way mm -hmm. but when we needed we needed to be special the two of us then we did go out mm -hmm. so then that mm -hmm. going out was genuine mm -hmm. in the sense that um it was part of who he is mm -hmm. it is not a, a makeup mm -hmm. he has put and dressed up mm -hmm. but even there's something that um, my colleague has said, just mm -hmm. openness to learn. Mm -hmm. it, it, I think it's a very important thing for somebody who is dating. Be mm -hmm. open to, I want to know your friends. I want to know mm -hmm. your family. Mm -hmm. I want to know, account mm -hmm. to have accountability uh -huh. uh, uh, groups. Mm -hmm. I want to be known. Yes. I don't want to be exclusive. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things that makes you know that this person is genuinely mm -hmm. involved in your life. Mm -hmm. And they mean it and they mean well. Mm -hmm. But somebody who is secluded, mm -hmm. I don't want to meet your friends. Mm -hmm. I don't want to meet... Mm -hmm. that, that is something to put a question mark on. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think so far so good. And yes. I want to invite our viewers to keep the comments coming. Yes. Let us know if you have any questions. Let mm. us know if you have uh, any nice experiences in mm. your dating situation. Yes. Share them with us. And yeah. um, we will look at those later. Mm. And especially uh, young men who are dating, what are your experiences? We don't want to misrepresent you in any way. Uh, uh, so let us know some of the things that you think, some of the things that you feel mm. that should be good for us. Mm. Now, having seen that dating is such a nice thing, everybody mm. feels like I should look forward to dating. Yes. Yeah, the things you've painted are nice. If I'm not dating, I would love to date. Mm. Uh, there's uh, something challenging here for us because mm. something so nice, mm. how can it be on the flip side? Mm be coated with violence. Mm. And violence here is when you are experiencing this, this discovery, when you are learning to know the other person, you are discovering mm. yourself, you are also being violated. Mm. That, that sounds very strange. And mm. you discover some very interesting statistics here. Um, in one of, the, one of my colleagues sent me uh, some statistics here um, that 2.5 of all the men globally experience dating violence. That means, if you wrote that number, is three out of 10 young people mm. will experience dating violence. Yes. And for women, mm. it's worse. It's 4.8%, mm. yeah. meaning five out of every 10 dating women mm. will experience some form mm. of violence. Mm. In the context of all this niceness, mm. so that makes us want to query why? Mm. Why would something so good be also be marked or stained mm. by, by something so awful mm. um, as, as, as violence? Mm. I think one of the things we want to do then is explore Yes. What are the causes? What would be the reasons behind? Mm -hmm. So, Susan, mm -hmm. uh, when we look at um, a, a situation, a dating situation, mm -hmm. why would an intimate friend or one you seek to share mm -hmm. an emotional connection, a psychological mm -hmm. connection, a spiritual connection, mm -hmm. uh, uh, why would there be violence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A very good question. Mm -hmm. um, and when we are talking about uh, dating violence, we are talking about physical abuse, mm -hmm. where somebody can slap you, mm -hmm. you're on a date, mm -hmm. because girls have reported, mm -hmm. you know, I was, he slapped me. Mm -hmm. The guy who opened the door for, me, for you also Fast. slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> you should not be on the same sentence. I think you should be laughing, but that's an oxymoron. Yes, yes. 
mm. a good gentleman and a slap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, other forms of violence include psychological, where mm -hmm. somebody keeps, um, uh, you know, can verbalize, um, can use strong words against you. Mm -hmm. They can use bad language. Mm -hmm. They can shout at you, mm -hmm. either at a date or mm -hmm. even through media. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think nowadays it mm -hmm. is virtual during yes. this coronavirus, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, virus period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you find some people using strong language uh, on text mm -hmm. um, and on the other media platforms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other times it is actually sexual. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can be, somebody is forcing you to get into mm. a sexual relationship, mm -hmm. forcing you, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm. and that qualifies to be, to be, to be dating violence. Mm -hmm. But very fast, I think one or two things, and I'll give you, I'll give you charity time to also say, mm -hmm. um, one of the things that uh, uh, clinicians, and here I'm talking about clinical psychologists observe mm -hmm. in their studies, mm -hmm. People, people who take alcohol mm -hmm. or abuse drugs mm -hmm. um, are more predisposed to violence mm -hmm. than people who do not. And the reason behind it is because uh, when you take, when, when you're intoxicated, you lose judgment. Mm -hmm. You lose uh, mm -hmm. uh, inhibition. Mm -hmm. That which will make me not insult you mm -hmm. is removed. Mm -hmm. And so I freely mm -hmm. insult you. <laughs> Really mm -hmm. So uh, issues of um, substance abuse, okay. a very important one, another reason is um, where we come from in terms of our background. Mm -hmm. If I witnessed my parents fighting, mm -hmm. then it becomes a normal, mm -hmm. a normal thing for me mm -hmm. that in any loving relationship, mm -hmm. there should be a spice Some of... of <laughs> 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 a spice, a spice of... Uh, of violence, mm -hmm. I should shout at her mm -hmm. because I'm flexing. I something I'm familiar, mm -hmm. I'm fam and it can be both ways. Mm -hmm. It can be from the girl, mm -hmm. or it can be from the gentleman. So mm -hmm. background. Uh -huh. So how families live their life? Yes. So parents are living out their married life. Yes. In the open. Yes. The kids are observing, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they will carry that. Yes. We say that they carry what they see. Kids yes. learn by observation, yes. so they will carry that to their own relationships. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we can normalize. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is which is wrong yes. and evil yes. for our children, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? yes. Wow, that's because alarming. parents mm -hmm. are the first teachers yes. of the children. Yeah. Yes. Not chalk and uh, blackboard, yeah. but as you said, uh, mm -hmm. observation, yeah. social learning. Mm -hmm. That uh, when a girl wakes up, she looks at man, mm -hmm. the first man is the dad. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is what men do. Men yeah. are supposed to do this, they mm -hmm. do this, whether positive or negative. Mm -hmm. And then they click save. Yes. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then they look at, oh, ladies, I have my mother here. Mm -hmm. How do women behave? Mm -hmm. um, women behave like this. Maybe they come home late, they come mm -hmm. at midnight, mm -hmm. or ladies shout. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's familiar. Mm -hmm. Click save. Mm -hmm. Until, fast forward, until mm -hmm. I'm in a situation where I'm in a loving relationship. Yes. So naturally, yeah. my memory brings that. The file is still. The file is saved. Save. <laughs> yeah, it was saved, it is saved. For an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So the opportunity time has come. Yes. Yeah. That's very, very interesting. Yes. Mm. Charity. Yes, I wanted to. What are you familiar to, with? Uh -huh. What I am familiar with is mm. I have heard mm -hmm. that uh, when you've mentioned background, mm. that there are women, mm. or even men, mm -hmm. but let me specifically say women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm who are okay with physical mm -hmm. abuse mm -hmm. because they say it's going to, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to heal quickly mm -hmm. as opposed to mm -hmm. verbal, mm -hmm. uh, verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. Could, is the background the only reason as to why people mm -hmm. still stay in these relationships? Mm -hmm. and, and you know, um, that's a very good question, Charity. Mm. Earlier on, I think we had discussed issues to do with the uh, image. Yes. yes. Where... Uh, if I'm dating the hot guy in town, mm -hmm. I'm not only getting attention from him, mm -hmm. but admiration from, from my, our social My people. friends. Uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. And they always think, oh, you, you must be so happy to be dating this guy. Yeah. And they're all admiring me, mm -hmm. but they don't know what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to lose. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose uh, that that attention mm -hmm. and affirmation for my yes. friends. So yes. I can persevere. Uh -huh. I can persevere in this uh, relationship mm -hmm. uh, so, that, so that I can maintain the image. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So in, and, and why is image so important? <laughs> <laughs> Who does 
in I'm what dating. we thought I'm only to dating. be doing well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I think it is part of um, the human need uh -huh. for it, it, which is expressed through um, one of our, and we say during creation, mm -hmm. I think when, when we lost the battle mm -hmm. with, with God mm -hmm. and, one, and, and Satan came into our lives, I think one of the need um, that we express naturally as human beings is need for love mm -hmm. and admiration and mm -hmm. respect. Mm -hmm. So we constantly want the community and the people around me mm -hmm. to be knowing that I'm doing well mm -hmm. and to praise me, mm -hmm. to affirm me. Mm -hmm. uh, so we express it all of us. Mm -hmm as I want to be admired. Uh -huh. I want to be loved by other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is a need. We want image. We want to be, uh, to be adored. Mm -hmm. But also, secondly, our poor self-esteem makes us to, mm -hmm. because I already feel so low about myself, mm -hmm. I want something to, to bring me up. To boost me up. And if dating this guy, even if he's violent, mm -hmm. is, yes, mm -hmm. if it lifts me up, uh, yes. I can live with it. I can live with whatever <laughs> crap you <laughs> yes. I think let's put a comma right there yes. because our time is gone. We need to take yes. a short break. Yes. And when we come back, you look at comments from our viewers. Mm. And then we also try to identify mm. an abuser. Yes. And also try to see mm. what are the marks on an abused person mm -hmm. so that parents can know how to guide mm. their, their, their young, you know, young girls and boys mm. before they get to dating. So let's take this, this break here. Yeah? Thank you. Welcome, guys. It's been nice to have you uh, for the last 30 minutes. And we want to quickly look at uh, your comments. And then after that, we pick up uh, the personality of an abuser. And then we, we continue from there. Charity, do you have any comments? Yes, thank you, mm -hmm. Reverend Maggie. Karibu uh, sana to this show, Muthoni Mathenge. That's Mathenge's wife, Wangari Hortensia. Karibu sana, Angela Wanjiko, and Grace Kavesu. So we have three questions. Mm -hmm. I'll just read the three, then you can um, answer as we go on. So this is from Angela Wanjiko. She says, if he's nice to me but rough with others, could it be that maybe that he's a go-getter type <laughs> and doesn't wish to show weakness out there? Is this really something uh, worrying? Mm -hmm. The other one is, I have always thought that violence many times is taught from what children see. Mm -hmm. um, another one is by Wangari Hortensia. She says, okay, I agree we should all be open about our weaknesses. What if his weaknesses is being sexually violent only in private, even in the context that he's actively doing his best to change? What's a girl to do? Okay. run away by ending the relationship or stay and suffer while the man is taking the journey of trying to be a better man in Christ. Okay. Our last question from Grace Cavesu. She says, uh, I hope we can address how an outsider can be able to help someone in an abusive relationship. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Susan, wanna tackle those? Um, let me start with Angela. And Angela's question had to do with uh, what if the person is just a go-getter? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's nice to only to me mm -hmm. and, and not nice to other people. Mm -hmm. Now, it depends on what you want as a person, Angela. Mm -hmm. uh, because as we say, the dating relationship, you are hoping that this relationship can graduate to a marriage relationship someday because we are not trying out what we are. We hope that it will graduate. Mm. But what do you want? Because uh, when, we defined, when we defined what is a dating relationship and what is a genuine one, mm. we talked about somebody who is consistent. Mm. Eventually, and we kind of emphasize that, eventually, this go-getter, uh, we have go-getters who are who are not violent. Mm -hmm. It is not all cholerics mm -hmm. who are violent. <laughs> there are some who are controlled. Mm -hmm. And so they can, it's something to exercise, they can be able to exercise self-control. Mm. But if you want to live with this man, 
it means one day he will also, what he's doing to other people, mm -hmm. he will do it to you. Mm -hmm. If you're okay with it, it is fine. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, then it should, uh, you should do your homework well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the others think about Angela. I, I, Bobo, do you um, want to go first? Mm, so, so, sorry. Uh -huh. Is it an, then an issue of accepting this person as they are? Okay. Um, Okay, that's like a flip question. Mm. Uh, that if this person is a go-getter, mm. then if you have said, if you're okay with it, you can stay. Mm. But is there a possibility that uh, you're hoping this person is going to change? So mm -hmm. is it acceptance or hoping this person is going to change? Um, when we used to be, when we were young and foolish, we were told um, there are certain markers that dating people should look at. Mm. And one of them is, we used to be asked, is he violent? Mm -hmm. Is he an angry person? Does he spend all his time with women rather than guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for some reason, I don't know what that person meant. Mm -hmm. There are weaknesses that you can live with that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, and I don't want to mention, but, but there are some weaknesses we can classify as this one, we can, uh, you know, we can work it out because mm -hmm. I also have weaknesses. Mm -hmm. But I think there are some glaring mm -hmm. things which are very scary. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be beaten in marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to be abused. Mm -hmm. Neither do I want my girls to be mm -hmm. to be abused. Mm -hmm. And so it is for you to decide what can I live with, what can't I live with, mm -hmm. and that is part of self awareness. Mm -hmm. It is knowing where does my boundary start mm -hmm. and where does it end. This I can live with, mm -hmm. this I can't live with. And we used to call them non-negotiables. Yes. What are non if you are non-negotiables? Yes. What can you accept? Yes. And where do you draw the line? Yes. And, and most people, we, we want to put a line mm. on violence, whatever form of violence. Yes. Because you, you self-preservation, mm. only you can pr protect yourself in that sense. Yes. And if you're not aware of when mm. you're being uh, violated, mm. no one can know it for you. Mm. So we need to know it for ourselves. Yes. Both men and women need to know mm. yes. that here you have crossed the line mm -hmm. and we're not going there. Mm -hmm. So for, for the person who is asking, I think it's Angela. Yes. Uh, I think we have, there we have it. Yeah. So we, 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 we must choose not to accept mm. violence. And But you know, I think there's earlier uh, I think it's uh, uh, Susan who said, mm. we, we can normalize, end up normalizing violence because we've seen it mm. uh, as we grew up. Yes. Uh, so even though we saw it when we were growing up, mm. we still must be able to say no. Yes. We still can be able to draw the line. Yes. And in, in any case, once we become adults ourselves, mm. we can, you know, grown, we can know it's not good, it's not right. Mm. Pain is never good. We, ca we, can, we cannot be able mm. to, to take mm. that. Yeah. Um, I, I tend to relate with Hortensia's question yes. um, because we, we, are now, we are all growing in our Christian uh, journey. And uh, this person is also, as she has asked, this person is in a journey of, mm. you know, getting out of maybe if it's sexual violence. Mm -hmm. Then how are we supposed to handle that kind of situation? Because if this person has exposed it to you very openly, yes. how can we handle mm. that kind of situation? You know, I, I forgot to say that bit. Eh? Um, if I realize that somebody is open to, it's like, look, I am sick or look, I am weak in this area, mm. but I need help mm -hmm. for its worth. Mm -hmm. I think we should support, not run away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should be able to support mm -hmm. because he is willing to, mm -hmm. he's willing to change mm -hmm. and he's needing help. Mm -hmm. The question is, where do I get the help? What kind of help do I need? And that's mm -hmm. why we have a, a reverend here and, and you know, the pastorate here to find out, to evaluate what kind of change, uh, what kind of help does mm -hmm. this person. Mm -hmm. So we can, I can encourage my boyfriend or my boyfriend can encourage me if I'm the one who is having the problem to seek help. Mm -hmm. I think that one is, we can live with that because we need change. Yeah, but yeah. for somebody who is justifying mm -hmm. and saying, mm -hmm. yes, justifying my weakness, mm -hmm. justifying the violence. Yeah. You know, it's like live with it. Shep, shep, we say shep what? Mm. <laughs> shep up or shep out? Yes. Then maybe it's, that's very questionable. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 and again, violence is violence. Yes. And I and you don't have to stay in the abusive relationship. Yes. As the person, as you wait for the person to change. Yes. Mm. So I think he, he can change mm. because basically, to mm. be honest, yes. I think we are not the ones called to change them. 
no, no, no. We are called, we are being mm. called to support mm. them. Mm. So we can support them where we are not being mm. subjected to the abuse. Yes. Isn't exactly. it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you, Reverend Maggie, because mm. if the decision to change mm. is only based on because uh, this other person or this lady is here, then mm -hmm. he or she will not change entirely. Mm -hmm. So it will be like a cushion for the person mm -hmm. and it will not be a self-made decision yes. to look mm -hmm. for yes. help. It yes. is exactly. because I'm in mean, this relationship, mm -hmm. I love Angela, mm -hmm. so I'm changing because of mm -hmm. Angela. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. exactly. And it's good motivation. Angela mm -hmm. can be a good motivation for him to change and yes. become a better person. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think all of you are saying is that uh, we don't want the person to be in a sustained abused mm. situation mm. Ho yeah. while waiting or hoping this we'll person change. will, will change because mm. it doesn't happen that way. Mm. Yeah, right, that is, that's good. I think we do want to move on or we have we another We had one? one question from Grace mm -hmm. about helping mm -hmm. as an outsider from the relationship. So this maybe is a friend or a colleague or it could be anything. Mm -hmm. How, and this person has probably shared this issue mm -hmm. with you, mm -hmm. the abusive uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. How can you help this person mm -hmm. as a friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or as a relative? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the others think, mm -hmm. but uh, I think we've answered part of it in the last question. Mm -hmm. If, um, when you talk about an outsider, we are talking about uh, maybe they've come here mm -hmm. to Mamlaka and they've shared with the pastorate. Mm -hmm. um, it means they're going to get pastoral care. Mm -hmm. If the pastoral care can happen alongside, mm -hmm. because of the fact that we said earlier on, what is it that makes a, a dating relationship flip from romantic to mm -hmm. violent? Mm -hmm. Could all of it, part of it could be actually a mental, mm -hmm. a mental disorder. Mm -hmm. If it is a mental disorder, then they need to see a counseling psychologist. Mm -hmm. They need to come to a money. <laughs> and all the other money is which are there. Yes. And, and the reason is because they need to be helped mm -hmm. to, to deal with, uh, with that mental disorder. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that uh, earlier on, I needed to say, and I think I'll say it again mm -hmm. even after this, mm -hmm. that statistics show um, both within our country and outside the country mm -hmm. that one in every four people mm -hmm. have a mental disorder. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm highlighting mm -hmm the issue of seeking psychological help, mm -hmm. whatever it is, mm -hmm. whatever you can be able to get, professional, mm -hmm. uh, because you also have quacks. Mm -hmm. So professional, <laughs> <laughs> professional uh, uh, help, yes. mm -hmm. so that the person can get help. But mm -hmm. there's also mentorship mm -hmm. uh, that is happening in the church. So I should, um, I think all the three can work together. Mm -hmm. uh, all mm -hmm. the three, we need to have a team, mm -hmm. a team kind, kind of effort mm -hmm. to support this person, mm -hmm. but again, Mm -hmm. They should not change for me. Mm -hmm. They should change for themselves. For themselves, because yes. they, they need the change they themselves. Need change. Yeah, that's yes. very well put. Mm -hmm. I, I think we could, uh, unless we have another question, mm -hmm. we can we can continue and uh, identify mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. how an abuser looks like. Mm -hmm. So, because we're talking about a dating situation, mm -hmm. we want our daughters, we want our girls yes. uh, to be aware mm -hmm. of what to look out for. Mm -hmm so that they can enjoy a dating situation. Mm -hmm. One of the things we had talked about is mm -hmm. that uh, if a person has instability, mental instability, mm -hmm. like the one you mentioned, yes. uh, then, then that could be one of the things to look out for mm -hmm. but as a potential uh, area of concern. Mm -hmm. uh, which other ones can we list? Mm -hmm. um, I've thought of one, uh, withdrawal. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who goes, so you're, you're dating and this person just goes silent. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no reason as to why. Mm -hmm. And this actually affects the person who's receiving the abuse because you feel like you're the person who has probably had the, mm -hmm. this other person. Mm -hmm. And really, it's not you. It's mm -hmm. just them going completely mm -hmm. uh, off. Mm -hmm. Or if, let me call it ghosting you completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it ultimately, it mm -hmm. makes you look like mm -hmm. the wrong person within the relationship. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that that's... Uh, mm -hmm one or way mm -hmm. we can identify as, as, as abuse, mm -hmm. withdrawal. Yeah, and, and um, withdrawal is actually associated with some, it's one, one of mm. the, the signs, quote mm. unquote signs and symptoms of depression, mm. uh, you know, uh, yeah. withdrawal, mm. especially somebody who was initially outgoing and then all of a sudden they Goes become behind. withdrawn. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think another, another sign mm -hmm is outburst of anger, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. aggressive driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Calling out <laughs> names to other drivers as you're driving along. <laughs> yes. 
uh-huh. and the same person is leading worship. Uh-huh. So you are like, oh. How comes, uh, how comes there is an inconsistency? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is it something that is catching up with him and then uh-huh. releasing? Uh-huh. I think that that would be a sign that, uh, um, that th- there could be a problem, uh-huh. a possible problem. So uh-huh. that anger, uh-huh. outburst of anger over uh-huh. something, uh-huh. So small. something so small, somebody over two Q. Right. You know, and, and you, it's like shooting a mosquito with a pistol. So the outburst, <laughs> <laughs> expressing... Yeah. Fits um, of anger. Fits of that's, rage. That's, that's fits of rage, yeah? Yes. Right. Yes, yeah, I yes. was looking at, uh, I, I, was, I was looking at uh, some information about dating violence, and I, yes. and I saw that uh, actually violence has a cycle. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That yes. is a, it's, it's like grooming, mm. you know? Mm. The, so the, the abuser will groom the victim, as it yes. were. Mm-hmm. There will be like a honeymoon sort of phase exactly. where all the love and good things you are showered see. on the person. Mm-hmm. Then suddenly there will be a, a disruption mm. or a disquiet. Mm. A disquiet followed by an eruption. The mm. volcano mm. will yes. erupt. Mm-hmm. And then after the eruption, then the guy will go, or mostly I've heard about mm. guys, I don't know about the ladies, mm. then he will compensate mm. with gifts, with flowers, with chocolates. Yes. yes. And the cycle seems to mm. be consistent that way. Mm. Mm. And the question for us here is why do people not go? Where don't they leave? Mm. Why do we mm. stay mm. in these abusive relationships, mm. whatever form of abuse we're talking about? Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's quite unfortunate. Isn't it? Eh? Yeah, it's quite yeah. unfortunate that. Uh, that as a girl or as a, or as a gentleman, you can be deceived, mm-hmm. you know, with gifts and, and all that. Eh? Mm-hmm. And that's why I can't overemphasize the issue of uh, just getting to know what can I settle with mm-hmm. and what mm-hmm. can't I. Mm-hmm. Because am I being deceived? I need to constantly ask myself, why should I hold on to this man mm-hmm. who is buying me gifts mm-hmm. and then beats me, mm-hmm. calls me names, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, he says, because what young people say, but he really loves me. It's mm-hmm. just a weakness. Mm-hmm. I think he still really, really loves me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as we, when we defined dating, we didn't define it that way. We yes. defined it as, and we had all the smiles. Yeah. <laughs> but now we mm-hmm. can't punctuate it with a bit of violence. Mm-hmm. I think we should be able to, to reject it and mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. no, there is lack of consistency mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I need, we mm-hmm. need to seek help. Mm-hmm. Both of us, if I'm not willing to let go, mm-hmm. we can go for, mm-hmm. we can go for counseling. We mm-hmm. can seek uh, pastoral care. Mm-hmm. But I shouldn't just keep quiet and, mm-hmm. and say, I'm willing to stay. He, it is just a weakness. No, it's not a weakness. Mm-hmm. It is a big weakness. It's a serious <laughs> problem. I, th- <laughs> I think it's a yes. serious problem. Yes. I think we have covered, what we have heard us say is that mm-hmm. uh, the people who abuse, mm-hmm. Uh, looking at issues of control, yes. mm. isn't mm. it? Eh? Mm. They, they really want to control and, yes. and, and dominate. Mm. So even when we see things like jealousy in a relationship, mm. oh, then you know, like uh, you can you can be, uh, no, no other guy can talk to you, I'm dating you. Yes. Or if I see you talking to another lady yes. and you're a guy, uh, mm. the girl will feel, uh, you know, very, mm. not, not the, this isn't a good, yes. genuine, so good. Jealousy, jealousy mm-hmm. but this one is uh, it, it, it is overboard. overboard. It goes mm-hmm. overboard. Mm-hmm. That that should be a concern, mm-hmm. isn't it? Eh? Yes. Um, mm-hmm. you, you know when you, when, you men- when you mentioned control, uh, I just thought about uh, when uh, even ladies can attack self your self esteem exactly. in the way you dress, mm-hmm. uh, in your body size. Mm-hmm. I think that's I don't know that that's one way of mm-hmm. identifying that mm-hmm. this is a potential mm-hmm. abuser mm-hmm. because they can easily. Mm-hmm you know, attack mm. you completely, that mm. you feel like your self-esteem is completely mm. mm-hmm. shattered. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so what do you say about that? When you attack a person's, uh, the way they look, yes. all the, the size of the body, mm. and they have no control over how God mm. made them mm. from a psychological point of view, what are they attacking? Mm. You remember we said uh, here that uh, acceptance mm-hmm. is a key thing, mm-hmm. that I'm accepting, you're mm-hmm. accepting me, that I'm tall mm-hmm. or taller than you, <laughs> <laughs> or I'm, or I'm uh, short, mm-hmm. um, and, and that's why dating is. I am 
I'm going exclusive mm -hmm. with a person. Mm -hmm. That means I've considered other 15,000 women mm -hmm. in my locality mm -hmm. and I've thought I want to go exclusive mm -hmm. with this person because mm -hmm. there's something that I, mm -hmm. uh, that I like. Mm -hmm. um, there's something in them that, 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 you know, that draws me to them. Mm -hmm. But if you have, in, you have then in the opposite where somebody is not accepting the way I look, then, then it means mm -hmm. it will never come. Mm -hmm. Because in the faces that you <laughs> said, the it's first one is romance, yeah. uh, you know, admiration. Mm -hmm. You can't skip that one. Yeah. Yes. And jump to. <laughs> <laughs> you can't skip that one and skip, yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. I think um, our conversation is drawing us to also look at uh, the, the signs of an abused person. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if, if this, if the, the, the dating situation has an abuser mm -hmm. and we know what they present, they mm -hmm. want to control, they are jealous, they may have mental issues, yeah. they may be abusing substances. Mm -hmm. How about a person who is abused? Mm -hmm. if, if I am a, a, a friend and if I am, a, or a parent, what can I look for so that I can help my, my child or my friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wear specs, mm -hmm. you see that. Mm -hmm. But when all of a sudden you see me with a pair of sunglasses, then there's something the I'm hiding. In the morning, in the morning. early in the yeah. morning, then there's something I'm hiding. Right. So there's a possibility mm -hmm. that you even probably even wear a scarf to mm -hmm. hide scars, mm -hmm. yeah. the neck. It mm -hmm. can be anywhere, even mm -hmm. on the hands. Mm -hmm. And you'll be there saying, you know, something pricked my eye, mm -hmm. or I fell down. Or I fell down. on the staircase. Yes, yeah. We've had things like yeah, that. Yeah, we've had things like those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the black eye will be a sign to look for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A scarf in, in summer, I mean, in January. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hot. But it's very hot. Yes. That can be, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about esteem? Does esteem get affected yes, by violence? Self-esteem, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. in majority of us will be, the person who is beating me, mm -hmm. there's something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, maybe n we don't always associate with them. It, we think it mm -hmm. is me. Mm -hmm. and so one of the things then to see is somebody who is no longer valuing themselves. Mm. And sometimes it can deteriorate to mm. even suicide. Mm. Because it is rejection. The yeah. fact that I'm beaten you, it mm. means I'm... Uh, and that's different from disciplining children. Mm -hmm. uh, if an adult is beating another, it means it may mean that uh, it may have that thing of, I don't like you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm punishing you for something that you did. Um, and that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, it will be, um, and I'm losing my train of thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was the question <laughs> again? <laughs> We're looking at signs of yes. an abused yes. person. Yes. Yeah. So um, then you'll be seeing that the person um, is losing hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is losing hope. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they can even begin to take substance mm -hmm. as a way of numbing, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. numb themselves, the mm -hmm. you know, the pain. Mm -hmm. uh, they become withdrawn. We mm -hmm. talked about with withdrawal. Mm -hmm withdrawn, mm -hmm. and if it is a dating mm -hmm. group, mm -hmm. they are no longer part of Probably that dating. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. They are just withdrawn. Isolation. They have those mm -hmm. two. Yes, isolation. Mm -hmm. So they have that. Mm -hmm. uh, the marks. The marks. Mm -hmm. When you ask them, they tell you it's a cut, mm -hmm. don't scratch them, mm -hmm. because they don't want to expose, mm -hmm. to expose the person. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. look out, if you have a friend who is beginning to withdraw, they're not part of the clique, mm -hmm. I think it is good to find out, mm -hmm. to go closer mm -hmm. and find out, please, mm -hmm. you know, tell me what is going on. Mm -hmm. Or if a friend has lost weight suddenly, or a child yes. has lost weight oh, yeah. suddenly, exactly. or yeah. we gained weight suddenly, mm -hmm. I think that's a red flag, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah yes. we can look out for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I am seeing that our time is really gone. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we don't want to stop before we, yes. we talk about a few tips. Mm -hmm. We can share a few tips on dating mm -hmm. so that uh, our, our, our viewers, our congregation, mm -hmm. Mamlaka here Chapo, mm -hmm. can, and, uh, and friends, mm -hmm. we can be able to, um, uh, to, to highlight some of the things we can always look for, isn't it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, as we're winding up, mm -hmm. let, let's begin with this, Susanna. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the dating tips you can give to uh, yeah, are you a mom now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so a date uh, of my husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still dating you. Still dating yeah. me. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that. Um, mm -hmm. Tips for those who are dating. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the ones I think we had discussed earlier on is, uh, I don't know how it sounds in this forum, <laughs> But mm -hmm. where you want to look for opportunities, mm -hmm. like let's say somebody comes to, you agree we meet in, I don't know which is the hot, 
uh, restaurant nowadays, mm -hmm. and we meet there. We are supposed to meet so there at two. Guys, yes, we can so tell you people. which is the hot restaurant. As, as we used to go to, as we didn't even go to Java, as we used to go to Green Corner. Green. <laughs> we used to go to the Serena. Yes. <laughs> nowadays, now for a hot date, now you yes, go to Serena. Really, really hot. Yeah, yes. yeah. Nowadays it's CJ's, uh -huh. Java, uh -huh. cafe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. So because we said we are we are in an exploring uh, period, mm -hmm. I want to see how this guy is going to react if I come five minutes, ten minutes late. Mm -hmm. If he if he is going to get really angry with me mm -hmm. and maybe cancel the date, mm -hmm. then it's a red flag. A red flag. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I have one. Thank you for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope I'll be delivered <laughs> late <laughs> one day. But um, it's openly uh, introducing the, the other person to mm -hmm. the community you yes. live in. Yes. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. way you mm -hmm. are able to be accountable mm -hmm. for who you are right. and also who the other person mm -hmm. is. Yes. And identifying, mm -hmm. um, you know, have background information. Yes. Ask fr his friends mm -hmm. or whoever. Mm -hmm who this person really right, is. Yeah. And you're doing it without his knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're yes. hoping even this friend is, mm -hmm. is, is someone you can trust. And so you're, you're doing, doing it. scouting. Yes. Yes, yes I uh -huh. think that is, mm -hmm. yeah, scouting, mm -hmm. definitely. It's a good tip there. Yes, yes. 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 Scout your date. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? yeah, before, before Do your homework. you make a commitment. Yes. <laughs> and I think we're talking about before you commit with the heart. Yes. Do all that work. Scout, yes. be yes. it a little bit. Yes. See his reaction. Mm -hmm. see, see, you know, see mm -hmm. a person who comes in shades. Yes. See that inconsistency. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah? In, and then we want to July. caution our, our, our moms, yes. our, uh, the moms who are listening, will be watching this mm -hmm. show later. We, we want to help them prepare their, their pretense. Mm. So we want to be preventive mm. more than reactive. Yes. Right? So mm. how can we best prepare our teens mm. or pretends mm. uh, for dating? Mm. Um, before they get into, because the dating time, there's a time for it, just yes. like we say there's time for everything. Mm -hmm. People are not born dating. Mm -hmm. But there's a, a period of time when children are able to hear your parent when you speak to, to them. And that's the time just before teen, teen, teen years, adolescence. Mm -hmm. And so if we can create awareness that, uh, as Reverend Maggie has said, the percentages and the statistics show that it is um, it is prevalent, mm. but I can be able to prepare my children and prepare um, the girls in my community, mm -hmm. and tell them this is what dating violence looks like, like. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. you should not go for it. Uh -huh. You should not entertain it, uh -huh. because when you do that, the moment they will see it, they will not say no. I can't commit uh -huh. this. Uh -huh. I think you said earlier. You look at what a dating relationship should look like when you talked about, uh, you look at a, at a banknote mm -hmm. that is original. Yes. Closely and see, this is how it's supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> so then when the fake one comes, you will you know. know. You're not even spending time. Yeah. This one is fake. You, you just, you, you, just I, you've seen them in the bank. Yes. They touch, then they throw. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've been trained yes. to, to know the real yes. genuine note. Yes. How mm -hmm. should a date look like? Yeah. How should a spouse look like? A possible spouse look like? Yeah. And I think we should spend a lot of uh, a lot of time doing that, eh? mm -hmm. educating them, mm -hmm. showing them, mm -hmm. uh, warning them, mm -hmm. so that they are aware when they get to add to adolescence mm -hmm. or even the dating period, mm -hmm. they have an idea. Mm -hmm. What should I do? Mm -hmm. what, should, what can I? What are my bare minimums? Mm -hmm. uh, what can I live with? What can I live with? Mm -hmm. So I think we can start it early. So that our children are not caught up in mm. dating violence. I think that's so well said. I think we can mm. avoid the pitfalls, isn't yes. it? Yeah? Yes. For, for our daughters, mm. both biological and non-biological, yes. for yes. those in our community, mm. for the young girls. Yeah. Mm. And mm. I remember one of the things we said that pressure is so serious. Yes. Uh, one mm. of the reasons why uh, we wanted to ask this question. Why do people still stay mm. in these toxic relationships? Yes. And I think one of the reasons we said is uh, there, there could be peer pressure. Mm. Yes. And especially for men. And I've just seen a comment here mm. by, uh, I think, by Andrew, Andrew Mwao. Mm. And he says uh, the boy child is normally mm. afraid of speaking out for fear of DDQ and embarrassment. Mm. So we really hear you. We hear oh. the guys, the boy child, we already presented there. And I think most men in abusive relationships one of too, mm -hmm. and then one day they explode and get extremely violent. Mm -hmm. 
And I think we are here to say, mm. don't vumilia. Yes. yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Don't, don't, vumilia. don't die in that situation, in that mm. pain. Mm. Look out for help. Speak and up. here at Mamlaka Yuchapu, we are there for you. Mm. Yes. That's why we exist. Exactly. And we now we look for friends, mm. like mm. Susan, mm. Uh, to take uh, you to the next level where you yes. can actually go through healing mm. and recover. Mm. And I think I want to say this to anyone who is going through any dating violence, I think you need to take yourself out. Mm. And don't say uh, that it will end one day. Mm. I think I wanted to remind us that we, I watched a creep mm. where this guy abuses, then brings a gift. Abuses, mm. buys a gift. And then the girl says, it will end one day. Mm. But she ends up in, in, in her grave. Mm. So, and then you talked about violence. Um, I mean, uh, uh, you talked about, about suicide. Mm. So it can become that bad. So to avoid being caught up, run out, run away when the running is good. Yes. Look for help. Mm -hmm. Mamlaka Yuchapo is open and we are here mm -hmm. to, to point out to where help can, can come from. Mm -hmm. So I want to say thank you so much to our viewers. Thank you so much for staying tuned for all the comments. We seen you. We seen you, Susan, Sue Suje, Jerry, Jehia. I know you. <laughs> uh, I like that. Oliver Getao, you have watched. Thank you so, for staying tuned. Patricia Mwangi, thanks for staying tuned. Um, any others? Thank you, Maina, uh -huh. one of us. Um, Kathy Cynthia, right, as well. Yeah. I think you've mentioned I've, I've there seen the Kate Waboy. You were watching Twiddling Thiga. You stayed tuned. So we want to say a huge thank you to every one of you. Uh, this is Homescapes. Uh, no, not this home. This is not Homescapes. This is Midwake Vibes. Yeah? We come to you every Wednesday, 2 o'clock. Thank you for staying tuned. And today we came f to you from Amaka Hill, Chapo Ruaka. And I was your host. Uh, my name is Leverick Maggie Mohia. And it's been such a joy to have this session with you. Thanks for watching.